Yo, niaje watu wangu. Your favorite superhero is back. Anonymous team, the man, the myth, the legend, the enigma. Give me a round of applause wherever you are. Whatever you are watching anywhere in the world, give me a round of applause because you don't come across such greatness randomly. You don't come across this greatness every day. It's it's a rare privilege, guys. It's a very very rare privilege. So wherever you are, anywhere in the world, give me a round of applause because your neighborhood friendly Superman is back. Having said that, let's just straight uh, let's just jump straight to the business. Now. You know, I, I, I struggle to understand. Is um, Daniel Dambuki, a.k.a. Churchill, the asshole that people make him out to be? Because all my years growing up, knowing ridiculous, all my years growing up, knowing Mwalimu Kingangi from Capital FM, all my years growing up, Knowing the Churchill show, seeing the comedians he's brought up, the biggest, the biggest of them all being Eric Omondi. You know, kina chipukizi, kina waiwai, kina butita, all my years growing up. I always thought Churchill to be this saint, this, you know, this God sent angel to rescue comedians. So, however, you know, over the last few years, his legacy, Imanza Kukua dragged into the mad mdogo mdogo, and it all started with, um, it all started with um, death, deaths of uh, some comedians. Unapata, some comedians are really, really, really wallowing in poverty, as in we know them. You know, we think they are these big shots. We think they, they, you know, they are doing well in life. But you later on find out that these people have been earning peanuts at, you know, the Churchill show. And I, and when I say peanuts, I mean peanuts. But unajua, with us Kenyans, we still have ilekitu ya. We don't like. Uh, speaking ill of others we don't like talking you know yeah speaking ill of others we don't like talking shit about others especially about um, people who are considered bigwigs and for the entertainers people who are considered bigwigs in the entertainment industry because unajua um jamaa with only one call can sabotage your you know kuna kwa gatu na fear kuna kwa gana fear if I talk trash about someone who's wealthier than me, who has more influence than me, he can mess up my whole career, evil, evil. So in the beginning, there was, you know, that fear of this comedian speaking out. But Sai, you know, wameanza kupia na tu hints tu mdogo mdogo, walianza na tu hints na tu hints, and sasa it has gotten to that point where they are coming outright. Where they are coming out right and saying, okay, this, this guy is not the angel that you guys uh, think of him to be. And I always wondered, whenever Oga Obina hosted uh, comedians who had their start at the Churchill show, whenever, whenever Oga Obina hosted comedians who had their start at the Churchill show, he has these questions that he pushes these comedians to try to paint a particular narrative on Churchill. And at the time, I used to think, okay, this Obina guy is kind of an asshole. What does he have against Churchill? Kumbe, Kumbe there's a story behind it and there's a whole story behind it. You understand? Then later on comes uh, Paul Kemaniwa. Ugutu, if, if 
I get his name correct. Who comes up and says, Unajua kuna time chachi lali Twitter, akatupea do, akatubaya wasea magari, you know, you know, stories za jaba. Uh, um jamali kamna story za jaba, you know, just to say the least. And someone that I least expected to comment in the way he commented was YY. And what did YY say? He said, nobody, what YY wrote on Instagram, you know, it was very stern. He said, nobody bought anyone cars. You cannot make people look so ungrateful. You know, th that was a very stern, you know, statement for YY to write. Very, very stern, very stern statement. You know, I was like, ah, if there's one guy not to be very, very appreciative, if there's one guy not to be really kind-hearted, eh? in the industry is why why so why why would why why you know write such a stern statement and um now it's beginning to dawn on me now it's beginning to dawn on me that why nani what's his name churchill is not the angel that we all think him to be that's right, you got it right. Churchill is not the angel that we all thought him to be. Now, this is how it all started. So, the other day, Ogo Bina was hosting this TikToker called uh, Hannah Benta. And, um, you know, they had gotten to this segment where he was asking his fans, you know, to, you know, to ask him to suggest guests, uh, the next guest he should interview. Well, at the time nilikuwa na notice aka kahana benta kalikuwa kana feel somehow disrespected it's like um <laughs> una suggest guest wengine na watu jamaliza na au guest uko naye hapa but that's that's another story for another day you know we will not will not even delve into that so along the list someone suggests Churchill and Ogo Bina gives us this uh story of how back in 2020, Churchill was doing this uh, show called My Story. I used to watch My Story. I used to find it. Uh, it was it was very it was a very very uh, good show. I used to host my. <laughs> I used to watch My Story, um, hosted by Churchill. It was a very very dope show. Very very dope show. And um, mostly he used to host. Um, you know. His uh, people, people, mostly comedians, people who've gone through the Churchill show. And so he had this episode where he interviewed Obina. And, you know, Obina took the opportunity because Obina at the time he was doing the Kula Kula show. Which apparently is an idea he stole from Butita. I mean, this internet people are so messy, but... I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, and that's a story for another day, Pia. I actually expected these guys to talk about that story when Obina hosted uh, Butita. Maybe we'll talk about it at some point, but for now, let's concentrate on Churchill. So, Obina asks Churchill, What you doing? See, you have interview uh, for my show, Kula Kula. Now, you have interview, and, they are, and the, at the time, they agreed that. Uh, the guys who shoot for Churchill, uh, instead of Nini Story Mingi, watch a tour shoot your Obina, and they'll give Obina the clip. It, I mean, it's it's something. It sounds so simple. Nami atasioni no manapo, right? Right, right. So yeah, apparently they shoot the Nini, but um, uh, first thing uh, Churchill does, he starts saying. Um, ingo is ingo ni meva kweli zikosa apa na watch a tuende tu change nguo. Um, tufanye tena kaa nimevanguo Wacha tufanye siku ingine kaa nimevanguo tofauti And um, You know Obina was like No hapana iko saa iko saa kabisa iko saa sana, sana You don't need to change Then Churchill tells him Oh okay ni saa kama iko saa ni saa Me for me the moment Obina said that I, 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 Right away just told me that I Churchill was being an asshole bana <laughs> Churchill was being Pundashimo hmm? Churchill at the time was being Pundashimo And <coughs> You know At the agreed time they, At the agreed time 
they had uh, come to for you know these guys to give the clip uh, to obina they did not do so and you know obina of course drove to their studio and this guy tells him ha mimi niliambiwa blah 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 ni sikupatia clip and all of that bs so obina is pissed off at the time he was working at kiss Churchill is at Capital FM it's at the same uh, building he goes to that's actually same company Radio Africa he goes to you know Capital FM you know tells Churchill yo what happened bro what happened you know they told me sijui uh, nini 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 and then Churchill is like oh waliweka oh uh, uh, so actually after nani after Obina was told aliambua spiana clip yake na yeye aka um, he told uh, Churchill's director then don't post up my episode so they later posted it so that's what pissed off Obina that's why he went to uh Capital FM is it club Capital Classic Classic sorry Classic Classic that's why he went to Classic um still under Radio Africa told Churchill um wame aliwaambia wasi upload nini yake na wame upload So Churchill tells him, "Ah, we may upload okay, let, let me call them." So he calls uh, his people, they pull down the episode. Now, I wonder, bro. I mean, it seems something so petty, so so petty bana. Ya kukosania because if you ask me that uh, me I'd say walikosana. Ju ya kitu very very petty. Like Yani what is so so big ama what is so so bad about Churchill being interviewed by one of the people he helped grow to the extent that he would be even willing to pull down the interview he did on this guy Yani what, what, what is so big yani uh, uh, Sielewi, there's something I don't understand. Make me understand in the comment section below. Like I don't I I don't understand. Am I mis is there miscommunication? Some was there miscommunication? Maybe there was miscommunication. But for me I don't think there was miscommunication because at the moment Church started saying at yo niende nibadilishe nguo then at that point we, we know he was being weird eh yeah. ama chachi lako illuminati na walimwambia ngasi yaifanywa interview na hawa tu amesaidia ku grow cause labda labda alichukua nyota yao so akifanywa interview na hawa say <laughs> nyota zao zinarudi <laughs> that's an interesting analogy that's an interesting analogy so it brings me back to my question is Churchill not the angel that we all thought him to be because personally if it was me if i was Churchill number one, i would be so proud to see how far the people i helped grow have come These people have endorsement deals left, right and center. These people are doing well financially. And not only that. These people who are at the top, the ones that he helped grow are helping others grow, bro. I mean that's a good legacy. Why then would Churchill risk that legacy ban why would churchill risk that legacy why would he risk his name being dragged down the mud and it you know it it um, makes me think i have never seen churchill at the chipukizi show i i i have never seen churchill grace the events of most of these comedians as a matter of fact all these comedians that pass through the Churchill show you know leave alone the fact that he used to pay them peanuts can you imagine people used to get paid 1000 for a show that used to come on tv 
And this I know because I remember back in 2014-15, I used to do spoken word poetry. And when I saw people like um, Brigadier, Brigadier the poet, uh, do poetry, spoken word at, uh, you know, at a comedy event, you know, it inspired people like myself and we used to go for those auditions. And I was a dope, I was a dope motherfucker, but, you know, I, I never, they, they asked me to tone down on the cursing, but, you know, it's not any hard. City, city to na cast you to na as in, you know, in a hard, in a hard, you know. Did I say I was a dope motherfucker? I, I am still dope. I am still fire. It's just that, you know, I'm corporate. Miss Cuisine is corporate. What the fuck do you think Anonymous team wears the mask? Anonymous team wears the mask because he's a corporate. <laughs> I am a motherfucking corporate, bro. See, I am a corporate. I am a corporate. That's why I have to wear the mask and speak all the shit that I want. Because I am a corporate, you know? You know, so I had to create this persona, this eh, this character. Corporates just don't go around cursing. It gives a bad, you know, bad rep. You know, yeah, so it gets me back to thinking. I've never seen Churchill in any one of these shows. See, see Kumona at the launch of Anasto, to, you know, never... Bro, what the fuck, bana? Churchill, what? Churchill, bana? Shida Nigani. Where's the problem, bro? Like, there's so many ways to support your own, like endorsing their shows, endorsing their products. Their... You know, Churchill, I really hope Churchill comes out to clear the air, because um, slowly by slowly, his, his reputation is, you know, and I'd really, really hate to see you know, at the end of the day, Churchill come, coming out to be portrayed as this evil person that maybe he's not. Maybe he has his reasons for not doing interviews. It's okay, Sazingina Watu Kosana, so that uh, we can overlook that incident of his and Obina. But you see, the problem is, Jina yake sai meanza kukua dragged down the mud regularly. It's it's subliminal, nini? It's sublimi subliminal shorts. But it's on a regular, that's the problem, Sasa. Na hivo tu mdogo mdogo ndo inanzanga, inanzanga, and all of a sudden mjama, you know, all of a sudden mjama mekwa mtiaji. Because you can see people like uh, Mwafrika huko, they are, they, they, they are, you know, they are already calling him a gatekeeper. No, 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 Mwaf. You can't, you can't start calling people like, in as much as he's not an angel, we wouldn't know who the fuck why why was if it wasn't for church. We wouldn't know who the fuck Nani. Okay, okay. I think I think Obina would have chattered his way out. Eh? For Obina, let, let, let's not credit Obina's success to Churchill, actually. Let's not credit Obina's success to Churchill. I think Obina will still have chattered his way without Churchill. But we wouldn't know Kina why why Kina Butita, Kina Eriko Mondi. So you know, Mwaf, you cannot start going around calling Nani Churchill a gatekeeper. Well, Mwenyewe, you had a job at uh, the Churchill show, you know. Mwaf is a good guy. I don't have a problem with Mwaf, but Mwaf says in Gina Joe, yeah, who, job, who jump off the handle, but you can't just go around calling people. I understand. I can understand the anger and the frustration, yeah. And yes, Churchill is coming from that gatekeeper era. But still, bro, man, Churchill, Churchill needs to clear his name. Churchill needs to come out and honestly clear his name.